In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this very noisy deck on this riding lawnmower. Now, even though I'm working with a Craftsman T110 lawnmower, this method will work on several other different types of lawnmowers, so stay tuned. Many of these decks have the same types of parts, so yours might have the same problem as this one. This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if you found it helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so what we have here is a very loud spindle bearing. Okay, it sounds terrible with the deck engaged. Um, I've already removed the spindle guard right there for ease of removal of the belt. So just unpeel the belt right there and push it out of the way. Now, if you engage the deck, okay, this one doesn't have a PTO, it's a mechanical. It removes the brake right here from the pulley so it turns freely. All right, now at this point, if you grab a hold of the blade from underneath, you can't see my hand there. I'm, hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear that clicking in there. Um, what I'm doing is, is I'm moving the blade up and down like this. All right. You can really hear that bearing is wore out. And listen to this if, you, if it'll pick it up. Hear how loud and dry and nasty that sound? Right? It's terrible. All right. So now you have a couple of options here. You can replace the whole spindle or you can replace the bearings directly. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do here in this video. I'm gonna replace the bearings. Uh, we need to start by getting this pulley off of here. And this nut is pretty tight. And even if you have an impact, you can't get it in there, okay, because of the uh, distance right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock up the blade. I have this blade tool right here. If you have one of these, that works pretty good. So how this works is, is it just goes up under here like so. And then you just tighten it down on here. If you don't have one of these tools, you can use a pair of vice grips or something to lock the blade. But this is the easiest way. Otherwise, you're going to have to remove the whole deck uh, to be able to use an impact up here. And that's just a lot more extra work that we don't need to do. All right, now when we rotate the blade, it locks it up on that, all right? So that's a good solution right there, easy. All right, now this video is kind of generally covering this problem because a lot of different lawnmowers have this problem. Uh, this one happens to be this Craftsman T110 here that's made by MTD, okay? But if you have a Husqvarna or a John Deere, your spindle may be different and you might find that your bearings are pressed on, and if that's the case, you can still replace them as long as you have the tools to get the pressed on bearings off of the axle shaft there. Otherwise, it's easier just to replace the whole spindle. Uh, but this one is not pressed on, all right? So we got our blade locked up, so we're gonna go ahead and loosen this. All right, so now if you grab a hole, here's a sleeve right here. Now if you, well, this one's falling right out, but if you have yours is not quite that loose, what you can do is put this nut back on here, just like that, and just lightly tap that with a hammer, okay? And it should come right out for you. All right, next, just remove these four bolts that hold the spindle on. and pop that guy right out of there, very easy. Okay, so here we have the spindle in a vise here, and what we have is we have a bearing in each side. There's one there, and there's the other one there, and it is a little bit hard to get the first one out. Okay, so if you can see that sleeve in the middle right there, I can use that sleeve to push out the other bearing, okay? But what happens is, is a half inch socket will go down in here pretty well, and I can use that to tap on that sleeve, but it, it straightens it out and the socket winds up going through the middle. So what I usually will do on that is I will put a screwdriver in there and kind of wedge it in there like so. That way 
when I'm pounding on it, it will hold it off to the side. That way it'll pound it out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that socket through there. This is actually a 14 millimeter socket. I thought it was a half inch. And I'm gonna use that to pound out the other bearing. So just kind of, well, it came right out. All right, so that bearing came right out. Uh, so now what I want to do is I've got this, uh, this tool here that's actually uh, for driving races in, or bearings or whatever, and I've, took, I've taken off the, the race adapter that goes to it, and the center punch fits this inner part of the bearing very well right here. So it'll tap right out. It should, anyway. There we go. Came right out. Now we have an empty housing. Okay, so what I've done is I've temporarily put one of the old bearings back in here. I just wanted to show you guys something real quick. If you take a fairly small screwdriver, you can kind of pry off this dust cover right here to kind of see what it looks like in there. And as you can see, it's pretty dusty and grimy looking in there. Here's the other bearing. It looks even worse. Now you could probably spray brake clean in there with an air compressor and clean out all the gobbledygook in there, all right? And clean that sucker up as dry as you can get it, all right? And then put some grease in the palm of your hand right here and just do this and repack the bearing, all right? And that bearing will probably live and then put the dust cover back on and it'll probably be okay. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace these bearings anyway but if you can't get these bearings for some reason, not available or whatever, and the bearing is halfway decent, like this one is kind of halfway decent, you probably could clean it out and then repack it with grease, and it'll probably live for a while. All right, so we have our new bearings right here. Go ahead and put that in there. Now this time I'm going to use my race tool, my bearing tool right here, the race tool's on the other side, the bearing's on this side. And what you want is to find one that's just about the right size of this outer diameter right here, so you're not beating on the inner diameter. All right, so try to keep that centered on the outer ring right there, and just go ahead and tap that puppy right in there. All right, that's all the way down. All right, and don't forget to put the sleeve back in there. Otherwise, it's going to be a whole lot of sadness when you go to uh, squeeze everything back together. And we'll tap the other bearing back down in there. And that's all the way down. Okay, I've got the housing screwed back to the deck. All right, I've got the main axle back up through there, and I've put the sleeve right here. All right, now I'm going to put the pulley back on. Now, your pulley should have some kind of a groove here that's going to meet with the spline in the axle, so make sure and not get that all uh, messed up. It, you should feel it when it locks in right there. All right, and just put the nut back on. Okay, I've st still got the blade locking tool on the bottom. Now, I couldn't find a torque spec on this nut. I'm gonna guess 80 to 90 foot-pounds, somewhere in there. It's pretty tight, but it's not so tight that you're gonna wring it off of there, all right? It's a pretty big nut, so it can go pretty tight, but I wouldn't go crazy with it. That should be pretty good right there. All right, let me take this blade uh, blocking tool off and see if we spin any smoother. All right, let's give it a spin. Oh yeah, that's much better than it was. And when now when I grab the blade, I'm not getting that clicking noise I was getting before. So that's real nice. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the uh, bearings on the other side, and this mower should be back on the road before you know it. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.